I have bought some of the craziest Xbox consoles ever made, spending thousands of dollars on rare and limited edition consoles that you've never seen before. Covering every single console generation from the OG Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and the latest Xbox Series X. Let's first start with probably one of the most highly requested consoles from my last video when I bought some of the coolest Xboxes ever made. And this is the Modern Warfare 3 Xbox 360. This console right here is an Xbox 360 Slim, and I think it's very fitting with the current time of year, with the approach of the new Modern Warfare 3 launching, the Modern Warfare 3 reboot, whatever you want to call it, that is coming out, which I'm a little bit shocked by, because was it only last year we got Modern Warfare 2, then Modern Warfare 3 a year later, like, I thought they would have skipped a year, but hey ho, they didn't. I always wanted this exact console when I was a kid, but I actually had the limited edition Halo Reach Xbox Slim, and also the uh, Elite Xbox 360, which was my main console uh, at home. This is pretty tidy, this looks class. I've never seen one of these before in person, never even seen one in the store, like on display back in the day. Now, it should have two controllers, Yes, it does. It's a strong start. They look in decent condition. Nah, not really. This one here uh, has been extensively used. Uh, quite, quite a bit of wear and tear there. And also, it either I'm hoping that's a coffee stain, but it could be blood. <laughs> no, I guess it adds to the aesthetic <laughs> of, of, of Call of Duty. So this is the main console right here. It will have special edition sound effects. As during this time period, every single Xbox console had like a special beep sound and eject button sound on their limited edition one. Same with the R2-D2 console that I currently use for my Xbox 360 stuff. Now this wasn't the only Call of Duty themed Xbox 360, there also was a Modern Warfare 2 Xbox 360 Elite, which I also own. I must admit, the Modern Warfare 3 console absolutely obliterates it in terms of its overall aesthetic and also I'd say the effort that was applied when it comes to the overall livery. You've got this sort of gunmetal grey with all of the scratches, these power um, symbols were a reference to the video game if I re remember correctly as well. You've got all these cool little logos uh, floating around. And then this aesthetic translates perfectly onto the controller as well and they just match really nicely. Now it doesn't look like there's anything else in the game, unfortunately there's no copy of Modern Warfare 3, but there is a, a sparkly connector. Hey, hey, he was using a sparkly connector with an Xbox 360 Slim. This obviously had HDMI ports so you could get better graphics. Next up we have an original Xbox, so all the way back from like 2000. But this in particular is an Xbox Crystal Edition. Now the Crystal Edition came in a few different variations. The Crystal Edition for Hello Kitty was incredibly rare. Around 300 of these consoles were made. It was basically the exact same console that we have in the studio right here, but with some Hello Kitty stickers on. And it was also exclusive in Japan, so very hard to get hold of these. But the other style is obviously this regular Crystal Edition that was also limited run and quite hard to come by. This did cost around $200 more than a regular Xbox Black Edition. And it does have a few advantages over the regular console. Of course, the hardware is exactly the same, but it did come with two limited edition Crystal controller pads, which is great for two player. And it also makes it quite good value if you wanted to hop on and play some nostalgic old games with a friend. One thing I love in particular about transparent consoles is it's very retro vibes. You know, it was very trendy, these styles of consoles back in the day. But also I love that you can see the hardware and the different mechanical elements within the console sort of moving, such as like the disc drives, the LED lights flashing, and all sorts of different capacitors doing their thing while the console's actually active. And it saves you having to uh, take it apart to see what it looks like inside. And talking about taking things apart and tinkering, that transitions us perfectly onto cars, and more specifically, Forza Motorsports. Another game releasing this year, is Forza Motorsports, I think, what is it, seven or eight? But it's actually just being rebranded as Forza Motorsports. This is obviously the console that was released way back in the day for Forza Motorsports 6 on the Xbox One. Now, I loved Forza Motorsports 6. It was, um, it was a great game. Forza Motorsports 5 was obviously a launch title for the Xbox One. Pretty good game, but Forza uh, Motorsport 6 sort of added some new elements such as the aquaplaning and also the weather. So Forza Motorsport 6 actually had rain in it for the first ever time in the Forza Motorsports game, which was pretty awesome. Now obviously to celebrate this new launch and the next generation tech that was able to house it was this cool Xbox One console. But what we've got right here is the Forza Motorsports 
a limited edition 4GT inspired Xbox console, which I think is going to look absolutely sick in this sort of Ford Shelby style blue. Oh, it's even got a racing stripe. Mate, it doesn't get any better than this. Oh, it's in good condition as well. That, that's rare from this store we buy all these consoles from. For it to be good condition, rare. Okay, so what we've got here is a gorgeous blue Xbox One with that Forza logo. Pow! Forza logo, go faster race stripes, obviously inspired by the Ford GT, the OG GT as well, had those go faster stripes. That runs right down the whole front of the console, which is pretty mint. But to take this to the next level, it also has special sound effects. Now, of course, the excitement doesn't end there. We've got some other goodies. What is this massive box? Oh, here we go, here we go, yeah. I, this, this is gonna be good. The control's gonna be good. I hope it's in good condition. Ah, oh, damn it, it's not in good condition. Why do people always cane them? So unfortunately, the thumbsticks are incredibly worn out. Someone's done a lot of laps on Forza with this bad boy. But something incredibly special about this controller, and in the particularly the year that it came out, is on the back. See right here, we've got these rubber grips. This was a rare feature on this controller back in the day. It's pretty standard now. Every controller comes with those plastic grips on the back. And then if you buy some limited edition controllers like the 20th anniversary or obviously a pro series controller, like in Elite, those have rubber paddles on the back. Starfield one's got rubber grips on the back rather. Whereas this was one of the first controllers to do that on the Xbox One. And, more, and it was like, obviously them testing it out, but also it was a bit of an Easter egg to like a steering wheel, you know, that leather on the steering wheel. That was the sort of vibe they were going for. Super cool feature, really like that. Now there are no Easter eggs on the battery cover on here. And then if we flip it over and take a look at the triggers, we've got some cool Easter eggs here in terms of the design and, and the thought behind it. So obviously these are like a, a gray for like car pedals. And then these are sort of like a glossy black for sort of paddle shifter type thing. It's all really nice how it all ties in. Again, with the nice blue, got to go faster stripe down here, and then your nice blue buttons to tie in with this. Absolutely nailed it. 10 out of 10, they need to release a limited edition Series X for Forza Motorsports that you can actually buy. So while we're still taking a look at Xbox One consoles in particular, of course we had to do it. We had to get the Fortnite Xbox One S in our coolest Xbox consoles video, we took a look at the Minecraft edition. This time, take a look at the Fortnite one. Similar category of console, same age demographic that like these types of games. We're keeping everybody happy. This is a similar vibe actually to the Forza Motorsports one you could say, in regards to its sort of simplicity with the, the single color design. This is a midnight purple. And let's see what goodies we've got. I wonder if it's got a vertical stand. That's a question, because the Minecraft console came with like a limited edition stand and everything. So let's see. First, let's take a look at the controller and get it out the box. Mate, that controller looks black. <laughs> Probably on camera, that just looks like a standard black controller, but I promise it's purple. It's, it's a purple controller. Really dark purple, mate. This looks black. And then you've got little butt buttons, exactly the same as that sort of Forza Motorsports controller. They just sort of went for that same tone on the buttons type thing. Pretty simple control, it's in not too bad condition, but it looks black. It doesn't look that purple, mate. Okay, okay, right. So let's now take a look at the console. Here is the purple console. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. If I'd have bought this as a Fortnite fan, little Fortnite kid, getting one of these back in the day, I'd have been a little bit gutted because it doesn't really, it doesn't look that special. Like it's so dark. I've got photography lights on, I've got lights everywhere. And this purple looks so dark. If you just had it in a standard room, you could probably hardly tell. But as you can see, it's like a dual tone. It goes from dark purple to light purple with this sort of shift gradient style, which is cool. I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm just saying you can't see it. Other than that, the cool features end there. <laughs> that, that is it, mate. It's just purple. It's a purple console. It doesn't even have Fortnite written on it anywhere. At least if it had a big Fortnite. Could, you could claim it's a Fortnite limited edition, but I'm, I'm not feeling it. The controller doesn't even have any Fortnite stickers on it in, under the battery cover. The only cool thing the controller does have is the power button. That also is a purple Xbox button when you turn it on, which looks pretty cool. I wonder if this one has sound effects though. Maybe it has some Fortnite sound effects when we power it up. And then if it has sound effects, I take back everything I just said 
and it is a Fortnite edition console. It doesn't have a vertical stand, unless that's missing. The, the kid that had it before uh, lost it. All right, moment of truth. It's got a sound effect. It doesn't even have a Fortnite sound effect. It's just a regular power up button, mate. What is this trash? Let's try putting a game in if it's got an eject sound effect. No, just a regular ding. Very disappointing. Oh, damn it. The <laughs> consoles fell out the box. Crap. Oh, my word. This, that console almost died. Next, let's take a look at something a little bit newer, and it's actually the only limited edition Xbox Series X that's currently on the market, which is a huge shame as this Halo Infinite Xbox Series X came out back in 2021. So over two years later, we're still sat here with no other limited edition Xbox consoles for this generation. Anyways, regardless of this, this console is incredibly unique and I absolutely love it. Its overall design is clean and nice, but it actually has a bunch of Easter eggs that you may not realize. If you take a UV torch and point it at this area on the front of the console, it will reveal the Halo Ring Zeta, which is actually the rings in the map in the game, which is a nice touch. Then on the back of the console, there is the 20th anniversary Halo Infinite logo, which is obviously referenced to the 20th anniversary of Xbox, which was the year this console came out. They did the limited edition 20th anniversary controller, a special edition Halo controller as well alongside the game. And then this console was sort of the marquee piece as a part of that marketing campaign. The top of the console also has a blue grill rather than the standard green grill that's found on a regular Xbox Series X. And all of this then ties in with the star and space vibe that it has. Some further cool little Easter eggs that this console has over a regular one is also with the power button and the eject button. Xbox's signature move, every console has this and, and they sound pretty cool. I actually own two of these consoles. This is my personal one and I also had a brand new one in a box that we just recently gave away on this channel to a lucky subscriber uh, as a thank you for all the support and me hitting a huge milestone of 400,000 subscribers. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for future giveaways just like that one so you don't miss out because we have a lot of consoles that we need to get rid of. The controller for this Xbox Series X is also very nice and ties in brilliantly with the aesthetic of the console. Plus it has some cool hidden details all over it. Now inside either of these two parcels, there is another Halo console. I literally have no idea which one it is. So we're going to open this one Gonna guess it's this one and hope for the best because one of these parcels is for another video that's up and coming that I think you'll really enjoy. It's a very special Xbox. Let's try this parcel. Come on. I... It's not this one, it's this box. No, it is this one. This is the really special Xbox that I'm gonna hide. Right, okay. Let's get this bad boy open. It doesn't, it's missing the controller. Not a strong start. I don't think it's in there. No, okay. Come on. I've just realized we spent a fortune on this Xbox and it doesn't have a controller or a bloody power supply. There's no power supply in that box. Not a great start. Oh, this is gonna be sick. This is the ultimate Xbox 360 right here. This is the one that everybody, everybody wants. Oh, mate, mate, look at it. Look at this beauty that we've got right here. Oh my word. Whew. I've got butterflies right now. It's missing all of its accessories. It's not got a controller, a power supply or a box. I'm still a happy guy. This right here is the Xbox 360 Halo 3 Limited Edition in pretty tidy condition. Look at this, there's not a mark in sight other than that, just ignore that. That's, that's aesthetic to be Master Chief's helmet. This basically has to be the coolest and also one of the rarest Xbox 360s you can get your hands on. There wasn't many of these made. Trying to get one in good condition is very difficult, but this one in particular is hacked. This isn't just a standard Xbox 360 Halo 3 cool as <laughs> console, it's also been RGH mod. I, th I think that's what you call it, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Basically, inside of here, there's been some fancy soldering done where they've put some little wires here, there and everywhere. 
and it's a hack console that allows you to get games for free and also play emulated games off of other platforms such as Sony, Nintendo, Sega, etc. Now, of course, aesthetically, this console is incredibly cool. I don't even need to explain it's cool. You literally just need to look at it and go, wow, that console is super cool. It's Halo 3, one of the greatest games ever made, full stop. But this isn't the only hacked Xbox that we have in this building. We've also got this custom orange Xbox 360 that I purchased all the way from Italy. Now, this is an extreme version of the console mod that we just took a look at. It obviously has additional fans inside of it. It's got a side panel. It's had a lot of work done to the internals with additional cooling and all sorts of craziness. And the final result of that console is obscene. It's super cool and very unique in its overall aesthetics and vibes. And it's also very rare. I've literally never seen an Xbox 360 with this style of a design. But this Xbox looks pretty discreet on its exterior, like nothing's been done to it. But when we power it on, as you can see, there is a bunch of LED lights inside of this console as well. And it's got this super cool red glow and the aesthetics to the console just, it gets leveled up. So it does have a bit of an angry, aggressive hack look to it. It's not just a Halo 3 regular edition like you would first assume. Next, we're going to take a look at some consoles that I don't actually own, but I have seen in real life. These are the Porsche Xbox Series Xs. Microsoft recently made six one-of-a-kind Xbox Series Xs that are themed based off of Porsche car liveries from really successful race cars over the last 75 years of Porsche to mark their anniversary that occurred earlier this year. Now, unfortunately, you cannot buy any of these consoles, but you can win them. They've been doing different sweepstakes and giveaways on Twitter, etc., on the Xbox pages. So you can win one of these one-of-a-kind consoles, literally just one of each. Now, even though I couldn't buy one, I did actually get to see them in person at Gamescom when I went over to Germany in summer. And I got to see every single one of these Porsche themed Xboxes on all of their different liveries and got to get up close and personal with them and also the controller. Now, as you can see from all of this footage, each of these consoles are incredibly unique, look awesome, and also have little Easter eggs to each of the cars that they're based off of. On the Xbox stall at Gamescom, each of these consoles did have a little history plaque and card that explained which car it was based off of and the history behind it for Porsche. And also it was tied to the Forza Motorsports demo where you could see the game early and this pretty cool Porsche Taycan with, with a custom livery on it. I love it when Microsoft do stuff like this. They're constantly doing one of a kind consoles that the community can win. But I do also wish they would just release them. They like make this a Forza Motorsports edition with some cool Porsche liveries on or whatever car you want to throw on there. And I buy it, mate. I'm pretty sure everyone else watching this video would love to buy one of these Porsche Xboxes too and agrees like Microsoft, please just make more limited edition consoles. Another super crazy console that I've seen at Gamescom that is definitely worth noting is this Fallout one. This is an Xbox Series X that has been completely modded to an extreme level. It's based off of and inspired by the world of Fallout and the craftsmanship and artwork on this entire design, it's not just on the console, there's an entire scene surrounding the console is mightily impressive and it must have taken hours, if not months of hard work. It's now time for one of the most highly requested consoles out of the last video. And I can see why. It's the Gears of War 3. Xbox 360. This is a very special console and is again probably one of the nicest Xboxes ever made. Oh mate, just hits you straight off the bat when you open that box. There it is. They just don't make limited edition consoles like this anymore. Xbox, you need to, you need to start making more. Sony as well, you need to start making more. This was the pinnacle of limited edition consoles. So right here, we've got the Gears of War 3. I was a huge player of Gears of War 2. That was one of my favorite games. I never actually played 3 that much. Very, very small amount. I'd moved on to some other titles. But this console is a dream. For any Gears of War fan, this has everything you want. It's got the big logo and skull on here. Goes right around, got the Gears of War red. All of it just matches the chainsaw vibes that you play with. Now this console's in good nick, but for some reason it's got this weird, like, cloth marks on it that's really sticky. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> now just like the Modern Warfare 3 console, this should have two controller pads. It's got one. I've been scammed again. CEX, mate. Every time, every time you charge me for two pads and there's one pad. 
Anyways, let me calm down. Beautiful controller as well, very similar to the console's design. You've got the Gears of War, you know, head, skull, everything, all that type of stuff. Same red color, same red color. There's not much more to say, it looks fantastic. You know what, actually, to be fair, I may have not got a controller, the second controller, but I did get this manky old headset. So that, that, that's, I guess, a silver lining. I'll take it. It's a shame that the importance of the Gears of War franchise has kind of faded in recent console generations, both on the Xbox One and also on the Xbox Series X. I don't feel like Xbox fans are too excited about it as they used to be. Back on the Xbox 360, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment, those were mega titles. Whereas more likely with Gears of War 4 and then all the ones that came after that point, I feel like it's not being the same. If you want to see me unbox some of the coolest and rarest Xboxes ever made, you should check out this video next.